The conference hall behind me was crowded with media from China and overseas. Some came two hours earlier to get a seat. Today we saw officials from China's National Health Commission and the National Disease Prevention and Control Center. It's quite informative, but, like, uh, but I'd like to stress on three points. First, it's about the efforts. Next step. Now efforts are made on the national level. A mechanism has been set up, led by the National Health Commission and 32 government departments, vowing effective coordination. The dealing of the epidemic will be carried out based on laws. Public are advised not to go to Wuhan if not very necessary, and Wuhan residents are advised not to come out of the city, but that's not compulsive so far. They say there is a possibility that the virus mutate and the epidemic might further spread. Uh, so it's a key stage now. Experts are keeping a very close eye on if there will be a super spreader, like in SARS or a MERS outbreak, when patients infected over 100. So far, there is no evidence of a super spreader, but it's a key direction of control efforts now. Uh, the second point is some media are concerned if the information released about this epidemic is transparent enough. Is there any hiding of the truth? The authority says they have released all key information timely and vows to stay transparent, making daily reports until is not needed. We attach great importance to information disclosure, which is very important, in order to make the public timely, accurately and comprehensively understand the information. From January 20th, the National Health Commission began collecting and releasing the data of confirmed cases and suspected cases in all provinces of the country every day. It can be seen on the National Health Commission's website. This system of daily reporting will be carried forward, including during Chinese New Year, until it is no longer needed. Well, on the international level, the authorities say China has been keeping close contact with the World Health Organization, held four uh, discussions with experts. They've also reported the cases timely to countries including Russia, as well as Hong Kong and Macau and special administrations for 15 times. They've invited uh, um, experts from the World Health Organization and experts from Macau, Hong Kong and Taiwan to visit Wuhan. They've also keep close coordination with technical departments and embassies of Thailand, Japan, South Korea and the U.S. Also, uh, they've offered free diagnostic uh, regions to Hong Kong and Macau.